downtown Colorado Springs. Are you ready? I'm very ready. <laughs> Are you nervous? <laughs> I'm very nervous. Are you hungry? No. What did you have for breakfast? Uh, waffles. <laughs> okay. Fruit. <laughs> yogurt. Awesome. Love you. Love you too. Here's some banjo music. <laughs> Grab some of it. Thank you. Oh, sorry, love. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Right, there's the five mile marker. Feeling pretty good. How long have we been out here, babe? We've been out here for about 57 minutes, which means we're keeping up a 12 mile pace, which is pretty awesome. There's my babe. 5K's on the right, half marathon's on the left, and we're back where we started. We still got halfway to go. Halfway in, there's one over the freeway overpass, and everything's going really good. Um, this is definitely not a have fun race. This is a race because we're about a 12 minute pace, and I think we only have like eh, 10, 10 people behind us, maybe. So, but we're having fun. I'm having fun. Kevin's tired, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, we're back at the hotel after the half marathon. I think it went fantastic. Um, when I finished, <coughs> sorry, when I went over the finish line, it said um, two hours and 34 minutes. And we were kind of in the middle of the pack. Let me see if I can go something a little more pretty. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We were kind of in the middle of the pack. And so um, I'm hoping that I broke two hours and 30 minutes. But my last half marathon, my first one ever, was two hours, 48 minutes. So I'm not gonna complain. It went really good. And um, we are back at the hotel. We've t I'm taking, or I've taken my shower. Kevin's taking his. And then we're getting on the road. But I wanna show you something. I got some new sandals at the Runner's Roost. And I think they're fantastic. My knee was hurting pretty bad after um, the half marathon. But I put these sandals on and they're perfect. And I'm sure they're at the Runner's Expo for Disney and everything, but I will show you what I'm wearing and why I'm wearing it. And let me flip the camera around. Oh gosh, there's that light. So uh, there I am. So there's my sandals. They're amazing. I forgot what they're called, but they might look dorky, but they are fabulous. Like I would, I would tell everybody to go get some. And then I'm wearing my compression capris or pants because I want everything held in there. Everything's sore. And then I'm wearing my Spartan Race shirt me and Kevin did a Spartan race in June, and um, so I'm wearing it nice and comfy for the ride home. We have about six hours to get home, and um, I will document that, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, it's me. I just want to give you an update about my half marathon and our weekend. Everything went 
amazing, like perfect. Um, my run was really awesome. Um, I felt great. I had a lot of energy. Um, uh, it was just amazing. And my husband actually decided to run with me at the very last minute. Like we're picking up my packet and that man's like, Oh, can I still sign up? And he did. This is coming from a man who hates to run and pro swore to me that the only half marathon he's ever doing is the one we're doing in Disneyland in November. So he went from not running, hates running, despises it to running two half marathons in a three month period. I don't know what's happening to my man, but I am so proud of him. He did such an awesome job. Um, he got done in two hours, 48 minutes. I think I got done in two hours, 34 minutes because I was trying to break the two hour, 30 minute time, but I ended up spending, um, running most of it with Kevin, which I do not regret. I loved running with him and the experience. Um, but towards the end, I was like, I kind of want to push it and make it to that, uh, two hour, 30 minute cutoff. Um, but you know, I was four minutes behind, which was fine. I mean, seriously, it was a great race. Um, Kevin got like a blood blister on the sole of his foot. And he said like his left knee popped. And when he came over the finish line, he was a little bit grumpy, but, um, but he was happy that he did it. And so we got him some ice and we went to, um, runner's roost and got some of those recovery sandals. And, um, I forget what they're called, but they're amazing. I love them. And yeah, everything was good. We went back to the hotel. Um, we got all changed and we got back on the road. Well, um, I felt great. I didn't feel any pain until we get out of the car after a two hour drive. So we left Colorado Springs. We went to Alamosa. We we're going to stop there for lunch. Well, I try to get out of the car and stand up and I can't walk y'all. I can't walk. I have shooting pains through my knee. My whole left side just aches. It's awful. And so I hobble myself into that Chili's and we had a great lunch get back in the car. And I was like, okay, I'll just stretch out. It'll be okay. Get back in the car. We went two more hours to Pagosa Springs and it was worse. And so I was like, oh my gosh, like I really hurt myself. This is not good. I'm not going to be able to continue to train. I am not going to be able to do the race in November. Like this is ridiculous. And so I got, um, the lady at the gas station was so awesome. She gave us a couple trash bags, let us fill it with ice for free. And I iced my leg for the rest of the two hours home. I was so scared. Yet last night I was so devastated. I was like, I've been running for five years and I've never felt this pain. I've never been that sore. I've never had shooting pains going through my knee. I was terrified. So Kevin suggested that I take an ice bath. And when I say take an ice bath, it's not like I was sitting up in there for 15 minutes. Like I sat in it for about 30 seconds because that was horrible. My feet were numb. They were burning because they were so cold. It was horrible, but I think it helped. So I said my little prayer when I went to bed last night. I was like, God, please, please don't do this to me. I can't like, I am not one of those people. If I get laid up, I am crabby. I mean, if you're like that, tell me all about it because my poor husband, when I get sick or I can't function the way I'm supposed to, I am the worst person in the world to be around. But I mean, I do not like it. I think it's terrible. So said my little prayer, went to bed, woke up this morning. I can walk. I'm pretty good. Um, I don't have shooting pains. I am a little sore. Um, I don't know what I did to myself. It was awful. So note to self, when you're going to do a half marathon, don't get directly in the car. Ridiculous. You need to have a day to walk your booty around, whether it be a mall or whatever you need to stretch and you need to walk around because <laughs> that was the worst idea ever. And so, um, yeah, I went to work today. I got, I ran with the kiddos. Um, like everything was fine. Um, but yeah, I was terrified. Yeah. I was so scared. I was like, Oh, here it is. I'm not going to be able to do anything ever again. Um, 
so yeah, our race weekend was amazing. I am so blessed to have an amazing husband that will do things that he swears up and down he'll never do. And he does them for me. And I think that's amazing. And I love him so much. And big shout out to Kevin Dunn. You rock, man. Um, yeah. And so we had a great time. The kids stayed with my mother-in-law. Um, they had a great time. They got to go to the mountains and shopping. And I don't even know what all they did. Like, they keep just telling me stuff as time goes on. And I'm a little confused as to what they actually did and where they actually went. But they had a great time. Um, I would like to say thank you to y'all for watching this and supporting. Um, I am going to try to run tomorrow. Um, it's supposed to be a 45 minute run. I do the Jeff Galloway thing. We run for three minutes, walk for two. And so, um, oh, that's another thing on the half marathon. We did not stick to that. We did not. I got so wrapped up in the whole running thing and keeping pace that we did not stick to our training worst idea ever stick to your training people if you're going to do jeff galloway do jeff galloway do not let the influence of everybody else run past you or whatever like take control of you i'm just saying like that was the worst decision ever and i think that's actually what got me in trouble what actually made me so sore so i i'm just telling you stick to your plan trust your training and just go for it. Like, don't pay attention to anybody else out there. And that's the other thing. This run was not for fun. These people were dead serious. Like, I finished in two hours, 34 minutes, and I was the end of the pack. I think there was maybe 15 people behind me. So, I mean, these people were serious about their running. Um, so don't let other people influence what you're doing. Take care of your body. Do what's best. Um, just trust your training and go with it. Um, yeah, and that's it. Um, so tomorrow's my first run for my, to get back on training for our Avengers half marathon in November. Um, I will post another video sometime this week, let you know how that's going. Um, hopefully I don't jack myself up. Oh, and the other thing is I wore hokas. I'm not sure those are the best for me. I think they're too, I think they're too unstable. Just I don't know. What kind of shoes do y'all wear? I don't know. I did um, Brooks and my half marathon in February and they were amazing. I, I didn't have any knee pain, no hip pain, nothing. In my hokas on this long of a run, knee pain, hip pain, lower back pain. I think there's just too much cushion because there's a lot of cushion. I think there's too much cushion. I think I'm too unstable on them. So I think I'm going back to my Brooks. But if you guys have a suggestion, any kind of shoes that you guys wear, just leave a comment below. And yeah, subscribe and you can watch my crazy adventures and hear all about this stuff. Um, thanks for watching and I shall talk to y'all later. Bye.